Hello, welcome to English for Everyone, where we practice real-life American English. Today we're learning an important pronunciation rule and the exceptions. So let's get started. First, the rule. When you see words ending with OSS like boss and cross, they make the same sound. They don't make the short ah like hot and stop. They make the sound aw like saw and call. The sound is a little different. It's not the open ah sound. The sound is back here. Aw, aw, saw, call. We need this sound. We need this sound aw for OSS. Example, boss, cross. Let's look at the words boss and bossy. He's the manager, so I can say he's the boss. And if I describe someone who likes to tell other people what to do, I can say he's bossy. So he's the boss and he's bossy because he likes to tell people what to do. We also have a verb, boss people around. It means you tell people what to do like you're the boss. He likes to boss people around. He cannot boss me around because I don't work for him. He's not my boss, but he likes to boss people around. Let's practice. Is he the boss? That's right, he's the boss. Is he bossy? That's right, he's bossy. Does he like to boss people around? That's right, he likes to boss people around. Now let's practice with cross. Remember, the sound is aw, like saw and call. Cross. This is a Swiss flag. The Swiss flag has a cross on it. There's a cross on the Swiss flag. Let's practice. Is there a cross on the Swiss flag? That's right, there's a cross on the Swiss flag. Other words with cross. This is a crosswalk. And the person with the stop sign, that's a crossing guard. And the verb, they are crossing the street. They're crossing the street because the school is across the street. Let's practice. Are they crossing the street? That's right, they're crossing the street. Are they crossing the street at the crosswalk? That's right, they're crossing the street at the crosswalk. Is there a crossing guard? That's right, there's a crossing guard. And where is the school? Is the school across the street? That's right, the school is across the street. Now let's talk about the word loss. Loss is a noun referring to losing. Lose is the action and loss is the noun. Remember the pronunciation, aw, loss. Example, weight loss, talking about losing weight. Weight loss is not easy. Weight loss is difficult. Weight loss is very difficult for some people. Let's practice. Is weight loss difficult for some people? That's right, weight loss is difficult for some people. Let's talk about hearing loss. Hearing loss refers to losing your hearing, and it's a noun. Hearing loss is a problem. Hearing loss is a problem for seniors. Seniors are old people. We call them seniors. So I can say hearing loss is a problem for seniors. They lose their hearing, and it's a problem. Let's practice. Is hearing loss a problem for seniors? That's right, hearing loss is a problem for seniors. And loss is countable. I can have one loss and two losses. I like the Dallas Cowboys because I'm from Dallas. And when I talk about how many games they won and how many games they lost, these are called wins and losses. So they had 12 wins and five losses. This season, they had 12 wins. That means they won 12 games and they had five losses. That means they lost five games. Let's practice. How many losses did they have this season? That's right, they had five losses this season. Now let's talk about the verb toss. Remember the pronunciation, aw, aw, toss. Toss is a verb meaning to throw a short distance. He is tossing the rings. And the name of this game is called ring toss. So he's playing ring toss and he's tossing the rings. That means he's throwing the rings a short distance. Let's practice. Is he playing ring toss? That's right, he's playing ring toss. 
Is he tossing the rings? That's right, he's tossing the rings. Now let's practice with floss. Remember the sound, ah, floss. She has dental floss. Dental floss is a noun. It's the name of the thing. She has dental floss. And it's the verb. She's flossing her teeth. Let's practice. Does she have dental floss? That's right, she has dental floss. And what is she doing? Is she flossing her teeth? That's right, she's flossing her teeth. Now let's talk about gloss and glossy. Gloss is a noun, it's a thing. It means the shine on the surface. And it's a form of makeup. This is lip gloss. She put on some lip gloss, and now I can describe her lips. Her lips are glossy. They look glossy. Glossy is the adjective. So she put on lip gloss, and now her lips look glossy. Pronunciation, ah, ah, gloss, glossy. Let's practice. Did she put on lip gloss? That's right, she put on lip gloss. And now, do her lips look glossy? That's right, her lips look glossy. And what is this? What is this green stuff growing on the rocks? It's called moss. Moss grows on rocks. Pronunciation, ah, ah, moss. Moss grows on rocks. We can hear the difference between moss and rocks. Moss has the ah sound, like saw and call. And rocks has the open ah sound, like hot and stop. Listen to the difference. Moss, rocks. Different vowels. Let's practice. Does moss grow on rocks? That's right. Moss grows on rocks. So we learn the rule that words with OSS make the sound aw. And we practice with all the words you need to know with this spelling. All the important words. Like boss and cross. So now we need to learn the exception. The exception is this word. This word is pronounced gross. It's spelled with OSS, but it has a different pronunciation. We're using the long O like no and go. O. Gross. Gross and the variations of gross are the only exceptions you need to know in common English. The variations are gross, outgross, and ingross. Let's take a closer look. First, gross is an adjective. It means disgusting or nasty. That's gross. That's disgusting. Example, zombie movies. I don't like zombie movies. I think they're gross. They're nasty. They're disgusting. I don't like them. Let's practice. What do you think? Do you think zombie movies are gross? That's right. I think zombie movies are gross. Now let's talk about gross the noun. Gross the noun is the money you make before your deductions, before your taxes and other deductions. That money that you make is your gross income. Now when I say gross income, it's an adjective describing what kind of income it is. Your gross income. Or you can use it as a noun and say, what's your gross? It means what's your income before the deductions. We can also use gross as a verb, referring to the money you make before deductions. Example, he made a lot of money. His company grossed over $2 million. Gross in the past? Grossed, with a T sound. His company grossed over $2 million this year. Let's practice. How much money did his company gross this year? That's right. His company grossed over $2 million this year. I can talk about movies. Example, Terminator 2. That movie made a lot of money. It grossed a lot of money. And if I want to say it made more money, I can say it outgrossed. That means it made more money. It outgrossed the first movie. Terminator 2 outgrossed Terminator 1. It made more money. It was a bigger success. Terminator 2 outgrossed the original Terminator movie, the first one. Let's practice. Did Terminator 2 outgross the original Terminator? That's right. Terminator 2 outgrossed the original Terminator movie. Example, I don't think Avatar 2 will outgross the original Avatar. 
I don't think it will make more money. Because the first one made a lot of money. I don't think Avatar 2 will outgross the original Avatar movie. Let's practice. What do you think? Do you think Avatar 2 will outgross the original Avatar movie? Very good. Now let's look at this word, engross. We put the stress on the second syllable. It's not engross, it's engross. Engross is a verb. Remember the pronunciation. It has the long O sound, engross. Engross is a verb. It means to get or absorb all your attention, all your interest. I can say it will engross you, but it's more commonly used as an adjective in these forms, engrossed and engrossing. I can say he's engrossed in the book. He's reading the new book from his favorite author. So he is engrossed in the book. He is totally engrossed in the book. The book has all his attention, all his interest. And I can describe the book. The book is engrossing because it's taking all his attention, all his interest. The book is engrossing. And he is engrossed in the book. Let's practice. Is he totally engrossed in the book? That's right. He's totally engrossed in the book. And what about the book? Is the book engrossing? That's right. The book is engrossing. So remember the rule for words with OSS. The rule is they make the sound aw, like saw and call, aw, aw, like boss and cross. And don't forget the exceptions like gross, outgross, and engross. They all have the long O sound like no and go, gross. Thank you for watching. And if you like this video, subscribe to our channel. And if you want to become a member, click the join button. And we'll see you next time.